All right, guys, so let's have a conversation today, this Saturday afternoon. Um, let's see here. This is going to be a longer video, I would say. And I want to just give you my thoughts, my opinions on what I think with cryptocurrency and where we're at in this whole cycle, right? This is the Wall Street cheat sheet psychology of a market cycle. We already understand that usually it's a two year bull cycle and a two year bear cycle based on the halving events with Bitcoin, right? And then you can talk about altcoins and Bitcoin dominance. And we're going to go over all that information today. So if you're brand new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. So you get notified when I post new videos. I'm making content every single day to update you on Jasmine, Dogecoin, XRP, and Bitcoin, of course, because that's going to have to, that, that's the most important to really tell what's going to ultimately happen. But um, this is a really important chart, I think, to look at because you can see there's hope, then there's um, you have optimism, then belief, then thrill, then euphoria, and then we have the crash, and then uh, complacency, and anxiety, denial, panic, anger, depression, disbelief, and then we get back to hope, right? So let me know down below, where do you think we are right now when you think about Bitcoin, when you think about all your altcoins. I'll tell you kind of where I think we are in a second. Of course, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is all just my own opinion. But I think right now is a good time to be in crypto. I don't think we've hit this yet. I don't think we've hit the real. Definitely don't think we're in complacency right there. I don't think we're in anxiety. I don't think we're in denial. I think, guys, that we are somewhere in this range right here optimism to belief i think the belief stage will really kick in when bitcoin passes seventy four thousand. okay so when you think about it bitcoin right now is trading at sixty one thousand. when we and I'm, I'm gonna show you the bitcoin chart in a second there's an important descending trend line that we need to pass i then think that will be the belief cycle so Again, once we break 73, 74,000, I think we'll be in belief. I think we're gonna go on a rally. And then I think we're gonna have a blow off top and a massive pullback. And not gonna, don't really know exactly the price target on that yet. I do think around 100,000, 104,000 will be kind of like this area right here. And then maybe we could rally because it's gonna be pushed all over the news. And then there's gonna be a massive crash. So again, we have elections this year, which is a very, very important indicator with understanding what's going to happen with stocks and crypto. But again, let me know where you guys think we're going, because there's a lot of people that say Bitcoin's going to a million dollars and all this stuff. And maybe it does that one day. This cycle, I just don't think so. OK, I think we'll definitely hit new highs. I think we'll cross 100,000. I think we could even get up to maybe, maybe if if I'm just you know, completely wrong. And maybe we're down here right now. Maybe we could get to 240,000 this cycle, but that's my top for Bitcoin. 240,000, uh, right under 250,000 would be my absolute top for Bitcoin. But I will be taking profits, guys, in the range of probably 100,000 to 240 with Bitcoin and my altcoins. Again, it's really going to have to deal with the stochastic and the RSI on a weekly and monthly time frame. Of course, I'm going to be coaching you guys on this. Links are down below if you want to join the community over 452 members and we have a private discord. So five days ago, Dogecoin has retraced to the last zone. This is really important. I don't care what cryptos you like. If you like Dogecoin, if you don't like Dogecoin, this will tell you what's going to happen with other other cryptos. OK, I said this is on a huge stack of volume. And at the 786 level, this has to be the bottom here around eight and a half cents. I'll show you. Right here, guys, we pulled back. Now, this was five days ago. We've obviously rallied. Dogecoin is over 10 cents again, but we had a huge stack of volume. We had the 786 level. And this is why I think Dogecoin has possibly bottomed. OK, this is the information I give you guys. And I make posts usually every day, if not every other day, at least. All right, so now looking at Bitcoin on a monthly time frame, guys, some important things you need to pay attention to. And this is kind of what I think is going to happen. Again, it's not financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor. It's all my own opinion. Do your own research even after watching this video. Um, but we have the 21 EMA right here. OK, so we're still trading above it. 
but we could definitely come lower. And I've said this before, especially if we don't close the weekly candle tomorrow and daily candles today and tomorrow back above the 21 EMA. I feel like we could reject from that point because on a daily and weekly time frame right now, Bitcoin is trading under the 21 EMA, this thick white line, but on a monthly it's trading above it. You can see obviously the wicks right here. So what I think could happen is this stochastic will eventually curl. When I'm gonna sell Bitcoin next, guys, is when the monthly and weekly time frame get very overbought and start curling over on the stochastic and the RSI. I feel I will have enough profits at this point that even if it goes up a little higher, eventually it's gonna crash down because the stochastic and RSI paints the perfect picture for you. I'll give you an example. The RSI down here got as high as 76 on a monthly time frame. That was when we hit this point right here. So when the RSI and the stochastic is at a high point and we're touching the yellow Keltner channel, it's time to sell. Again, this is Bitcoin for a monthly time frame. So this is when I will sell next. It doesn't have anything to do with the news. That's how they try to trick you. They put out all this bullish news or this bearish news, but it doesn't really matter. All that matters is understanding the stochastic and RSI and making sure you know when to get out. So when this happens, I feel like a lot of my altcoins uh, will be where I, I expect them to be like Jasmine, which we talk a lot about, um, and I will be selling. I will be selling, I will be taking my profit and I will wait. I will wait till things cool down. I will look at where we're at, what month, what year we're in, um, what's going on with the country. But at the end of the day, I ultimately think over the next six months, even over the next 12 months, however long it takes, six to 12 months, maybe it might be sooner, this will eventually go back up and Bitcoin will reach a price target of at least 100 to 105 thousand dollars. So what do you think that's going to do with your altcoins, especially as Bitcoin's dominance drops? I think we're close to 60 percent right now for Bitcoin dominance. So most money is in Bitcoin. OK, once the dominance crashes down, altcoin season begins and all of your altcoins are going to go on massive rallies. I'm talking about 4xing your investment, 6xing your investment. For some altcoins, 10 to 20x your investment. That's really what I think is going to be happening. So Bitcoin will give you a solid return, but I'm watching this area so closely. I'm watching the stochastic, the RSI, and I'm going to be updating you guys every single day. If you want more information on this and you want to Zoom with me one on one, where we will meet and we'll go over all these altcoins, these stocks, these cryptos that you want to talk about. Join my Patreon down below. It's the gold tier. It's the most expensive one, but we're actually going to spend time together and actually learn this. Cheers, guys. Have a great day.